Welcome to the Pickleball Recovery Podcast, where we highlight products and practices to help you feel better faster, so you can spend less time stiff, sore, and injured, and more time on the court doing what you love. This podcast is sponsored by Zamst. Zamst reinforces and protects athletes by providing premium technical products in the form of athletic braces and supports derived from innovative materials, designs, and manufacturing processes for the ankle, knee, elbow, and more. Find out more about these high-quality products built to prevent injury, improve performance, and ultimately help you spend more time on the court at www.zamst.us. And use the code PBR to save 15%. What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Pickleball Recovery. I'm your host, Tim Ringgold. How you doing? Did you play any pickleball today? Hope you did. It is raining cats and dogs here in Southern California right now. Uh, And uh, yeah, so I did not play any pickleball today. Hoping to get indoors tomorrow um, to get a session in because next week... I head to Florida for the NPL Combine Part 1. So they have like two tryouts, one in Florida, one in Texas, and I'm going to the one in Florida. And uh, we're playing indoors with the new Gamma Chuck Ball. If you haven't heard, Gamma is releasing a new ball now. 38 holes. Um, I played with it on Sunday. Shout out to uh, recent guest Anna Shirley for setting up a lovely day with her and longtime podcast listener, Patty. Shout out to Patty. What's up? And to Shannon Neiman, who I've been just wanting to play pickleball with for like two years since I first saw her play at Nationals, uh, finally got a chance to play. And let me tell you, fellas, I have never had anyone hit a two-handed backhand drive at me harder than Shannon ever full stop. So gentlemen, anybody who you think you have a good two-handed backhand, bring it. I doubt it. I doubt it. I mean, I was literally caught like squealing speechless. Like I'd never seen a ball come at me that fast uh, from a two-handed backhand from anybody ever. Did I mention ever? Uh, It might be the black ace she's swinging. I don't know. Funny me being a gearbox pro power player calling out another paddle for being a, a bazooka, but yeah, that paddle something. And when it's put in the hands of a talented player, watch out. And boy, that was amazing. But let me tell you that gamma chuck ball plays really nice. Color is somewhere between a Dura yellow and a Dura green. It's this weird in between color. Uh, but we beat that ball, uh, probably 60 degrees out two hours ball stayed totally around. And uh, didn't crack, uh, really true, but hard. Ball hits hard, hits fast, plays very fast. And I'm not used to playing indoors. So I have a couple of sessions this week set up indoors to try to get a sense of what this ball is going to play, play like indoors um, so that I can get my best, you know, put my best foot forward next weekend. All right. So yeah, giddy up. Um, Let's go. So let's just jump in. A couple of things also, I just want to say, um, if you haven't checked out any Zamst products yet, go to their website for real. Go check out their stuff. It's so good. I was wearing their knee brace on uh, Sunday. I have like a intermittent issue with my right lateral meniscus. Every once in a while, it gets cranky if it's cold. And what I love about their, uh, the knee brace that I used is I wear compression tights on the court. And so like I have a ghost sleeve knee brace that I also love, but that one it's like, I have to commit because it's got like this kind of elastic on the inside that makes it feel like KT tape. So you can't just strap it on over compression pants. Um, it's gotta be the first thing on your skin. So I'm either wearing it the whole session or I'm not with this Zamst knee brace. If I don't need it, I don't put it on. But if my knee starts to feel a little cranky, uh, I can just strap it on in about two seconds and I get the support I need. And so uh, highly recommend their stuff. I've used their ankle brace now, I've used their knee brace now, and I've used their elbow brace now. So for reals, go check out their stuff, really high quality. And it's been interesting, you know how like once you see something, you start to see it around more often. I was surprised I didn't realize how many people I knew that were playing with Zamps braces on, including Mr. Dane Gingrich, uh, you know, fellow uh, listener and uh, guest of the pod. 
uses their ankle braces. Um, a couple of guys locally I've seen with their elbow brace on. And so kind of cool, you know, to see it out there. So check it out if you haven't. Um, what else should we get into it? Let's get into it. Um, I had the good fortune of getting to play with uh, Natalie Bagby through Anna Shirley a few weeks ago and then interview her at the recent Senior Pro Tour event in Tustin Hills. And uh, what a class act. I mean, you know, back to back gold medals um, and was just super generous with her time and her attention. And what's cool about her interview is, you know, how if you're a regular, you know, that I ask a lot of the same questions of the pros. And, you know, we get a uh, kind of like a Venn diagram of a lot of things you hear. But Natalie was a former French uh, professional tennis player. And so you're going to hear a very cool kind of origin story of what it was like for her uh, growing up as an athlete in France. And you can hear in some of her answers, like a, a cultural influence as to how she thinks about what she does to reset, unwind, to reconnect. And I loved it. I thought it was a, it brought a very... Uh, a broader brush strokes to how we can approach how do we reset because she comes in she plays mixed wins gold she has to go home decompress recover come back she comes back the next day wins gold again how do you do that in such a short period of time how do you get your mind and your body to reset and that's kind of like what we get into in this so sit back relax enjoy the ride and i'll see you on the other side natalie bagby welcome to pickleball recovery Thank you. Yeah, great yeah. to have you. Thanks for taking some time after just pulling your second gold in two days here at the Senior Pro Tour. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, your back must be tired from carrying Dane all day yesterday. That's He's, he's a big, heavy guy, we know, but I'm sure you carried him through the finals. Post that. Uh, <laughs> Dane's a, a prior guest on the podcast, and so the banter is uh, ongoing with Dean. Oh, okay. So yeah. that's what that was. That was just a shout out to him. Uh, and winning with Jennifer Dawson today. Uh, well done. Like one of the things that I'm going to, we're going to get to is kind of, you know, your kind of approach to being able to play mixed and women's back to back and still have something in the tank. Uh, but everybody loves kind of an origin story. So just kind of catch us up. Uh, you probably didn't start playing pickle. You probably played something else first. And what did you play growing up? And then when did you discover pickleball? Okay, so um, so I was I was uh, raised in France. I'm I'm French, and um, I was a professional uh, tennis player. Okay. Yeah. So the, at the age of 13, I left my hometown. That. Uh, uh, Saint Adresse in Normandy, okay. in uh, in Le Havre, it's close to Le Havre, and to uh, to go to Paris with the French Federation. Wow! Yeah, 13. and yeah, and uh, since the age of thirteen, I never lived with my parents. After that, wow. it was. Uh, uh, I went first to the Institut National of Sport, where in France is the uh, main place in Paris where all the at least. Um, uh, train. Okay. So I went there for two years, and um, and then I, I trained at the French Open place, you know, okay. the center. Yeah. And then I played uh, professional tennis since the age of 17 until I was about uh, 29. So amazing for, for 15 years. So, okay. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Clay, your favorite? What was your favorite sub, uh, surface to play on? So I grew up on clay, but uh, I think my best result was at Wimbledon. Okay. Yeah, where I reached the fourth round. Let's go. So I was uh, basically an uh, all court player. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's pretty cool. You may have heard of Wimbledon out there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Breakfast at Wimbledon, yeah. as, as we we call it here in the states. Well, congratulations. That's an amazing amazing journey. I can't imagine being 13 and yeah. not having my parents. Like, I, I have to imagine the, it was kind of like an integrated coaching experience. Like, they're taking you through schooling, playing, life. Like, yeah. it must have been, like, all, like, yeah. 360. Exactly, yeah, yeah. We had a, yeah, the, the teacher where, um, uh, coming to the sports institutes in, in the morning, okay. then in the afternoon we train, and after that, so that did that for two years, and then after that, when I was um, at the uh, studying, um, playing at uh, Roland Garros, 
uh, I studied by correspondence okay. until, you know, I finished high school and that's where, yeah. So it was by correspondence. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So you play and then you decide to retire 29 and, uh, What's the next sport after tennis for you? What did you discover next? So, I mean, I, th so when I retire, I still play, you know, a few tournaments, but not on the tour for a couple of years. And then I, uh, I met my husband. Okay. Actually, was, um, he was traveling to France with his, uh, with his kids. And I met him um, in a restaurant in Paris. And okay. we start, yeah, it was a, so that's why it brought me to America. Okay. Uh, and I always love Los Angeles because I, I used to come um, to play the WTA tournament in the summer. Gotcha. And I always love this town. I don't know why, but so when I knew, oh, he's from Los Angeles. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll come and visit <laughs> and everything. So that's, that's how I ended up in LA. Okay. And then we got married a year later. And and then uh, all the I mean for a long time I still play tennis league matches I I taught at the Riviera Tennis Club okay. I was a, a yeah teaching pro there yeah. for years until I have my uh, I had my daughter okay and um, so going forward I uh, I start playing pickleball I discovered the sports first I. I saw some YouTube video okay. and I said, what is this? You know, there's so many, so many people are watching and I need to get into that game. That's um, so fun. And I knew from, um, I knew uh, Jennifer Dawson and Kemi McGregor were playing because I, I knew Jennifer from, I, I did some national tournament against her okay. in tennis. Okay. And I, I didn't see her anymore and I, I found out she was playing pickleball. Gotcha. So that's how first I discovered uh, pickleball by just watching videos. And then, and then uh, September 2020, so during COVID, um, I got, I got invited by Anna Shirley and, yeah. uh, and uh, some other girls to, uh, they called me one day and said, hey, Nad, do you want to play pickleball? I said, yeah, sure, I want to try. But I had tried before a little bit. Okay. But, so um, so I played that game and I said, oh my God, this is so fun. I love it. Reinvite me for the next one, nice. two weeks later. Nice. And then that was it. And we all uh, basically uh, start playing pickleball at the same time. Okay. Like, you know, like Anna Shirley, uh, Shannon, um, a girl named Shannon in LA was not a senior pro yet. Yeah. But, and then, I know Shannon. and then, yep. yeah, Shannon. And, and then, Neiman, yeah. Yep. And then, and, and then, then Beth. Beth, Beth starting kind of a couple months later. Okay. And then we, that's how, then we start playing all the time together. So that's I had great. some good, good partners to play. Yeah. You, know? you guys are like yeah. three of the top three. Yeah. So. <laughs> that was, so, and then I, uh, basically after that I did, I, maybe I played tennis one time and then I, I stopped. You that know? was it. Yeah. That it's too it. much. So. It, I, and uh, and uh, yeah, pickleball is so much more fun right now, you know, at this stage of my life. So yes. I really enjoy it. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. How many days a week would you say, if it's not a tournament week, how many days a week do you find yourself on the court? Um, so going back to the beginning, because yep. I don't play as much as at the beginning. No one does. To, yeah. <laughs> so because I really wanted to be good at it. Yes. So at the beginning... I, I took lesson okay. to really understand what I'm supposed to do. Smart. I didn't want to play like a tennis player on the court. Smart. And so I did that. And then I was maybe, we, we played every Wednesday, every Saturday okay. with those three girls. Yep. And, and then I was drilling uh, with people maybe, you know, the rest of the time. So basically I was playing six days out of seven yeah. for a year. Yes. Then I start playing a lot of tournaments. So now I'm teaching too. So okay. um, uh, now let's say I drill a couple times a week. Okay. I play a game, a game a week, okay. either either a mix or a woman's. Maybe sometimes two games. Okay. But a couple days plus my teaching. So four days okay. out of seven. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Like there's that that first year. Yeah. When you're just like yeah. more, more, yeah. more, right? And then. You kind of realize your body's like oh, yeah. less, uh -huh. less. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> less. I needed to, uh, uh, you know, uh, retract a little bit. They're yeah. well said. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
when you are home, mm -hmm. what do you like to do to take care of your body? Because uh, there's your game, you know, then there's your body, mm -hmm. right? And then your, you know, the, your mind. Um, how do you take care of your body? So um, when I'm at home, uh, usually after a long day, I love taking a hot bath with with Epsom salt oh. that really, yeah, really, so re really relaxes me. Yep. So I do that. Um, I do, uh, I bought, you know, when I played the tournament at first, I bought the, um, the boots. The compression boots. The, so yes. I do that uh, from time to time. Yep. Um, as needed. Yes, yeah. as needed. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I stretch, tr try to stretch after I played. I like it. Yeah, yep. I do that. Um, I like that you said you like to stretch after you played. Yeah, did, yeah, did yeah. Did you catch that, everybody? Because most of us growing up, when we were athletes, they made us stretch before we played, and then we'd just take a shower and go on our way. And these days, we now know mm, yeah. it's the other way around. And, play yeah. first, then stretch. So glad yeah. that glad that you're doing that especially when my back you know my back i have a little issue with my back yep. uh often okay. and but I, I know my body so i know exactly when i have to be careful yeah. or i can go uh you know one more, more game one more game yeah one more game but um yeah stretch so it's for me it's very important to stretch after and before you know when i play uh i do this little routine that one of uh a new senior pro guy told me to do is a is a physical trainer. Okay. Yeah, Marco Reed. He gave me this little routine, like in the morning when okay. I get up to, when I go to play, just to warm up my muscle and nice. stuff like this. So I'm trying to incorporate that. Excellent. And and basically also I um, I uh, I see a, a chiropractor and. Um, uh, kind of an osteopath chiropractor okay. to work on my body. Nice. Right, yeah. And I do massages. I love massages. Yes. Maybe maybe one a week, one every 10 days. Okay. I, I really do. Like, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. And how often do you go to the chiropractor? Is it as needed or is it on well, a schedule? Uh, it was as needed, but I found a new guy and I'm doing uh, a series of 12. Okay. So just to, uh, you know, realign my body yep. and stuff like this. And yep. he, he gave me a few, you know, a few exercises to do okay. outside. Yeah. What kind of exercises? You know, basically, because all my life, basically playing uh, tennis, my body works in one way. And I had one hand back end, so it's everything from the left. And basically, you know, more and more we, we, yes, we all like yes, this. Yes, we so, do, the hunch. Yeah, so he wants me to really open up. And also he, he told me to walk, uh, if I could go on a treadmill and walk backwards. Yes. To, you know, because it's everything is forward. Yep. So yep. do that, re working backwards a little bit. And some um, exercise against the wall, you know, uh, trying to pull uh, to realign my my um, my head too, not uh, so this one. Yeah, I gotta get the shoulder blades uh, yeah, back against yeah, the wall. Yeah, and, yeah. And uh, no, it's actually it's actually the elbow. Okay. Yeah, like against the wall and the neck. Okay. And this should not touch, but you know you you pull. Okay. Yeah. Opening up. Yeah. Like your pecs. So stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah That's yeah. great. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. really good. Yeah, yeah. The hunch is real. Uh, yeah. We all do it as we age and the shoulders get yeah. kind of compacted. Um, oh gosh, there was something in there yeah. that I was just going to yeah. say. Let's see. He had the, oh, the walking backwards. Yeah. So there's a guy named Ben Patrick. His nickname is the Knees Over Toes Guy. Okay. And he has a great book, uh, Knee Ability Zero. And one of the things he talks about is walking backwards mm -hmm. and how the muscles, particularly for pickleball, yeah. the muscles that we need to strengthen as we're coming running up to the kitchen and then scooting back and running up yeah. to the kitchen, he's like, those muscles, believe it or not, it's, now he doesn't speak directly about pickleball, but he did that, those are the muscles that get such a workout for us. He said, walking backwards yeah. is a key. And sh I remember the first time I heard it, I was like, I kind of rolled my eyes. Yeah. Like, oh, wait. And, I, and then I remember I started walking my dog backwards. Unless someone else was coming up the path, then I would turn around and walk forwards because I was 
embarrassed. Uh, I was embarrassed. I, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I totally admit that. Um, but I remember, like, at first it hurt. Like, muscles were being used that yeah. weren't used to. Uh, no, it's true. And it, it, I think it's really opening the hips yes. here because that's that's the part that's very tight. Yep. And also you need to stretch that. So, yep. yeah, yeah. That's really interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a good shout. Yeah. And that was, that's your new chiropractor kind of gave you that, those yeah. exercises. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like those. Yeah. Um, when, uh, when you're at a tournament, how do you eat? Yeah. Tell me about your, how do you fuel your body? Okay. Yeah, that's very important because, um, so I get up in the morning, go have breakfast, good breakfast. Okay. That's very important. E Which either is some uh, for you. Yeah, some eggs okay. and, and a toast or oatmeal, nice. a fruit, some nice. fruit. And, uh, you know, I, I drink coffee. I love espresso. I'm an espresso drinker. Powered by caffeine. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, so I try. I have that. Um, so that's my breakfast. And I always take uh, with me. From the breakfast, um, a bagel with cream cheese okay. that um, I eat between matches. Okay. A little, yeah. A little nibble. So then I start my first match, and then a little bit between each match, I eat something. Okay. You know, I have, so a piece of bagel, a banana, but not the whole thing. Right. Just little just, piece. Yep. Li at a time. So banana, um Almond, um, That's great. fruit. So I have, you know, yep. I have this with me for the for the whole day. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, uh, like the APP tournament, yep. feed us the lunch. So that's great. So we have lunch, but I don't do a full lunch. I know. No. Right. So you know, a little bit at a time. Uh, so that's it. And I drink uh, water on the court. I take my water and another bottle with uh, hydrolyte. You know, oh, good. It, yeah. Some electrolytes electrolyte, in one. Yeah, yep. electrolyte. Yeah, electrolyte. water in the yes. other. Yes. Yeah. So I, I do both. And basically all day I do that until I'm done. And uh, and then at night I really love to go to a good restaurant. Nice. Yeah. If I'm too tired, I order food maybe in my room. But usually I try to go out. Okay. And then I have a good glass of wine, of red wine. Very and good. that's my... That relieves all the pressure yes. and having dinner with friends like we did last night was really fun. Nice. You know, with a bunch of senior pros, we went to a, a restaurant last night. Outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's basically my routine. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. I love... Um, so as we were talking, as I was saying, there's like our skills, but then there's our body and then there's our mindset. Mm -hmm. And, you know, having the ability to unwind our mind after a long day of really hyper focus concentration yeah. with good friends and yeah. having that feeling. And I know I totally relate to this, the difference when I've been on tour and we've had like great nights out in between match days mm -hmm. and then days where it didn't happen because the logistics, someone had to go back yeah. to their hotel and just the difference in your body and your mindset the next day, how fresh you are. Because with pickle, you got to leave it all behind. Yeah. Right? You can't you can't bring it with you. It's, mm -hmm. It all happens so fast. So having a way to relieve that stress uh, is key. Yeah, no, it's super important. And it's really good for the mind to, to share, you know, a good meal, a good drink. And then uh, that's what it's great with pickleball. Because um, since I started playing senior pro, I met so many people that uh, so nice people, yeah. nice friends. Now they, I can call them my friends. Um, it, it's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. The community is so fun, and 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 we share the same interests. So it's it's great. I love it. Yeah, love I, it. I agree. I, I got to say, I met more. You know, like I have more new friends yeah. since joining this than I had. You know, twenty years together, right? And and as a parent. I got my first name back because as a parent, like my kids are Julian and Allie. So okay. I became Allie's dad, Julian's Julian dad, dad. Yeah. Allie's dad, Julian's dad. And then one day I was Tim again. <laughs> and I was like, 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm still here. Exactly. I'm still me. Yeah. You know, and that's yeah. what I love about Pickle is like, there's yeah. people I play with, I actually don't know their last name. In my phone, it says Michael Pickleball or yeah. Michael PB. Yeah, right? exactly. I put Pickleball for every, yeah, every new people that I want to in my phone. Yes. This it, is, that, yeah. It's, yes, yeah. it's a thing. This is so fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, any other kind of devices or practices, uh, pieces of gear that you like to use? Yeah, so um, uh, I have, a, sometimes I do the Terragon. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah I yep. have one at home, but I, I should get a new one because mine is kind of old and doesn't function very well. That's why <laughs> I never take it to tournament. Okay. And it's big. Okay. But I, I use my friends. Yes, of so, course. You There's know, one in my yeah, bag if yeah, you ever need yeah. it. So one I do in my that bag. from time to time. <laughs> I use also like a, a ball, um, uh, you know, so because I notice when my back is really tight, yep. usually uh, I put the ball on, on my butt here yep. against the wall yes. and it's so painful. I know this so is bad. so tight. So yes. relieving the attachment. Yep really helps relieving the back pain. So I, I bring this to tournament. Um, Is it like a lacrosse ball or a tennis uh, ball? No, it's a, it's a, no, it's not a tennis ball. No, it's a... Uh, it's harder than a tennis ball, right? It's, yeah, it's different. It's like a, you buy that at the, you know, the store. Right. On, uh, yeah. That's especially for doing that. Gotcha. You know, those, it's that, that big yep. and it's, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, Hurt it's so hard. Good. Yeah. Hurt so so I do that, um, and um, jacuzzi when I'm, I'm, you know, I go to the jacuzzi yes. at night when I'm, I'm tired. Yes. Uh, I have one across the street from my house at the, nice. at the summit club. So okay. we have a nice pool and jacuzzi. So I use the jacuzzi and sometimes in tournament, if I have time to go, I will go. Yep. I like that. And I started stretching uh, in the jacuzzi. Oh yeah, that's yeah, I do that too. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. It's like the greatest yeah. the new the club that I now belong to has a jacuzzi and yeah. it's a big jacuzzi and I I will go in there, fifteen yeah. minutes stretch down and I'm like, This is the greatest. My body's so happy. Yeah. You know, just yeah. like thank you. I needed this. Yeah, good shout. Yeah, so and uh I mean from time to time, but I don't do it regularly, but yep. I did the cryo zone. I did the cryo one yep. one, you know, uh because I had a little injury and I did it for a week, so I think yep. it helps. But I, you know, I I I don't do it often. Yeah. And then I also did the, um, the it's called the so the infrared uh, infrared sauna. Yes. Plus, then you go in the cold plunge. Yes, yes, the so contrast. I, I, the contrast. Yeah. Yes. So I do that from time to time, but. It, I know, yeah, I know it's really one. good. Yeah, it's really good for you, but I'm still a little. Uh, yeah, oh, it's it's yeah. hard, yeah, and, and it's, it's hard. okay. Like a lot of people are, you know. But you know, ice baths, cold yeah. plunges. Yeah. Don't want to do them daily. They're actually bad for you if you do them daily. So it's good that you don't do it. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. So a little bit occasionally. That contrast is really yeah. good, but. Otherwise, our adrenals will wear out from that stress. Oh, okay. So it's yeah. it's, it's it's a good practice, but not a daily. Yeah, I practice. don't. I, I'm not. I don't. I don't think I can do it. I wouldn't it want to. No, than, me yeah. neither. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm not going to yeah. be in any of those challenges. Yeah. I love the the. Um, I just learned this new one too with the uh, Theragun uh, for our chest because I have shoulder issues yeah. and and i was just watching this video where the guy was saying if you take the theragun and you just start at the center and you just work your way out towards the chest with the theragun and then from the bottom to the top that pectoral major and minor those muscles get so tight from mm -hmm. this and he showed us just like two minutes like set mm -hmm. a timer two minutes just just drawing lines center out center or you know center out and I couldn't believe okay. how much better my shoulder opened up. And I was like, oh. oh okay. Yeah. That's good to know. It's always good to know. passing yeah. on all the little, yeah. the little secrets. Yeah. And, well, um, oh, yeah, one more thing. Yeah. Actually, I, I love it too. When uh, I don't do it as much because I don't need as much. But when I started, so my lower back was killing me all the time. Gotcha. You know, at first. Yep. The position yes. and everything. Yes. So I use KT tape. Okay. And this is really save uh, me for, uh, in tournament because I start in the morning with that here. And 
putting the KT tame on, on it was really good. Like it nice. holds, yeah. So I did that for a long time. And as soon as I feel little injury, you know, I put like, I put some on it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Smart. I like that. Smart. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. it's funny. It feels, feels good. Takes that gives you a little support mm -hmm. and, uh, but not, you don't feel restricted. No. Yeah. Not like athletic tape. Yeah. You still feel like you can move. You just feel like you're getting yeah. just that nudge that you need to not overdo it so yeah great shout well all right where do people follow you online how do we how do we keep track of you so i do instagram and okay. i do uh, uh uh facebook awesome uh, yeah so i think uh i'm on instagram natalie Ehrman bagby Okay. Uh, Natalie Bagby, that's my Instagram, but okay. my name is actually Natalie Ehrman. That was my uh, middle name. Gotcha. Um, Bagby. And yeah, Facebook, the same. Okay. Uh, Natalie Bagby. Yeah. Now with NPL coming yeah. up, um, is it a new draft this year? Do you know, will you be on a new team or will you be on the same team this year as well? Do you know how that's so, working? So, uh, I think, but I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's, uh, I heard it might be a Total new draft. Total new draft. At first, they're saying maybe the team owner can keep maybe couples of their players. Gotcha. But I think I heard recently that it's a total new draft. Okay. We 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 don't know yet. Okay. But I think that's what they're working on. But yeah. you'll be back to defend your title. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't know if I will be with the same Who, team. Whoever, but we, whoever I love, whatever team you'll yeah, be on. Yeah, last year so NPL was uh, was amazing. It was so fun. And um, uh, that gives me the opportunity to play with different players yeah. that, you know, I, I, because I always play with Beth and you know, it, we, our game was so, so uh, complementary together mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that it was easy. And, you know, playing with other players, you learn from that a lot. Like you totally. have to, you know, you have to come up with new strategy and so, so NPL was great for that. I think it was for the camaraderie. It was amazing. Like everybody was supporting the, the team, yeah. every, you know, so for that, then the level of players, the level of everybody from the top to the line four, mm -hmm. uh, because there was uh, uh, four lines of doubles, sometimes okay. three, but also four. Wow. Uh, everybody, their level raised up so much. Wow. Like by the end of the, you know, at the championship, and uh, yeah, it was. It's great. I recommend to uh, every everybody who's senior pro and uh, you know coming to senior pro to do it, and you know people four five and above. Uh, it's it's great. Nice. The team thing is it's a different atmosphere and uh, yeah, it was it was so fun. It was yeah. fun. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I'm very excited. I'm going to Florida for the combine. Okay. Got the call. So uh, good. Very excited about that. Yeah, it looked like you guys had so much fun watching everything on Instagram and watching everything on Facebook. I definitely had FOMO. Yeah. Last yeah. year I was like, man, they yeah. look like they're having fun. Yeah. So hopefully yeah. I'll it, be a part of it this year. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, Natalie, thank you for joining us on Pickleball Recovery. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me. That was great. You're Loved welcome. it. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a beautiful club here. So that's uh, and it was uh, the senior pro tour tournament. It was it was fun. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Matthias and yeah. and uh, Chico, the uh, tournament director here. At, we are at uh, beautiful Tustin Hills Racket Club and uh, watching, I think, a bronze medal match in front of us yeah. right now. In, in, yeah. Palm trees in the background. Uh, worst places to be in February. Yeah. What else do we have to do you except know? playing pickleball? Except this play is, pickleball. yeah. I don't want to do anything else. No, no, no. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's the best. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again. Thank you, Tim. You're thanks. welcome. Thanks so much for listening. Did you know there's one place on the web for all your recovery needs? It's at www.pickleballrecovery.com. You'll find all the products I personally use and recommend, along with exclusive discounts on many of them, as well as my blog where I help you make sense out of all the different products and practices out there to keep you moving and feeling better so you play better. After all, your body is the most expensive piece of equipment you own. Also, do you want to know the number one mistake picklers make that leads to increased pain, soreness, stiffness, and injury? 
just head over to pickleballrecovery.com and download my free guide to playing with less pain and more enjoyment. Listen, pickleball makes us feel young at heart, but not young in body. So go download my free guide at www.pickleballrecovery.com. See you next time.